Good morning, everybody. It is Marie here from the Skeins Diaries. We're going to see how we're going to go with this because I've got a sneaking suspicion this is not going out to YouTube. Did you hear this on the other? I know, not going out to YouTube um, because my machine is doing weird and wonderful things. Apparently, there's an update, I'm told. Anywho, you're with Skeins Diaries. I'm Marie, episode 130, 2nd of December. Um, 2022 20, 21 21 but that's right because it's the first it's the thursday of the month which means it's um ethan o'clock which is a good thing because i think this is the best way to start a month hello darling how are you hello i'm good how are you i'm good i'm oh, definitely in the book of face and it looks like i don't oh. think we're going to be on the, the the youtube so um i know i know i know uh, and we kind of vastly prefer the youtubes but that's i know you know, I know. personally it's everyone sorry I know. I think yes. I'll get this. I'll get it figured out for the next time, and I'll actually pop this over on YouTube once we're done. But uh, how? I, look, I know. Dece what, December. The, 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 December. December. December has come. It's the fourth day of Hanukkah for all you Jews. Happy oh, Hanukkah. Yes. Um, so, you know, there's so many here in New Zealand. I'm sure they're just popping up into the chat. Like, yeah, it's finally Hanukkah being recognized in New Zealand. Um, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else is going on? I don't know. Like November was a blur. I don't know if everybody else experienced yeah. this, but it was just like one long, like, ah! Um, yarn's been everywhere. I don't know about the rest of you. I've been feeling like sudden sharp pangs that I might be short on yarn, which just for the record, everyone is not possible. Like, it, <laughs> I pretty much have the fucking Noah's Ark of yarn. Like I've got two of everything just in case something should happen. Um, so I've recently like been wildly considering buying yarn, which whew, I really don't need everyone. Um, I've been suffering from a chronic case of cast on itis. I have approximately a thousand projects on the go. Um, two. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I haven't touched showed you, but I'm, I'm nearly there. I'm oh. nearly hitchhiking away i know i know i just the head's still not a hundred so um i'm sticking with things that are easy absolutely hey i'm kind of in the same boat i you know i'm just i'm just knitting some uh you know mm. yarn candy oh. if you will everyone oh, totally. um, not not to be that person but this is what a fade is meant to look like where it actually like smoothly changes color and looks like a gradient um I am that person. I've been this person for a long time. Um, sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, so this is our tri trick. This is the trick fade from Halloween, which was the one that I picked out for me. Um, it's very, very bright and very, very festive and fun. And I, yeah, I'm just kind of knitting away on this. Um, it's vaguely inspired by our good friend who doesn't know either of us, Andrea Mowry's So Faded Pattern. Um, I don't think she knows either of us. I think I've been at events with her, but I don't think she would know who I am, no. like from Adam. Thank no. God. Um, poor thing is already too busy. Uh, but yes, so just in case anyone's asking at home, what pattern is this? Well, it's a lot like So Faded, but we're going to tell you a secret, Marie and I, right now. You can just improvise a top down raglan and take her fading instructions and put them in so it actually fits you. Um, so like, don't get me wrong, like sometimes it's nice to work to someone else's stitch counts because then you know if you've got engaged that the bicep's gonna be the right size, which mm -hmm. is what I did. I basically just increased the sleeve till I had enough stitches and yeah. then usually you end up with enough stitches on the body. And I mean, it's a top down raglan, like worst case scenario, do some sneaky increases. You'll be fine. I've actually adopted a little bit of a, like a Mr. West um, philosophy with this. Like if I don't have enough stitches on one sleeve or the other, like if someone can tell what's going on with this, if, like if any of you at home are like, oh my God, Ethan, you've missed something somewhere. You know what? You deserve all the gold stars in the book because mm -hmm. I have no idea what's happening. So I actually think yeah. that's why he loved all those miles and fades so much because it hides a, you know, it just. Yeah. It hides a cornucopia of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It like, it just, it, it's like, um, uh, it's like BB cream for your knitting, yes. you know, like it just it smooth, smooths out all the things. Um, and yes, just, I'm not ill everyone. I know that I look like some sort of reverse Dalmatian just cause I'm paying a very nice lady to laser my face repeatedly. Um, and so the hair's falling out. That's a thing. 
Um, yeah, I, I know it looks like I have facial alopecia because I can see it quite clearly on my camera. So I just, I've been addressing this with people because I've received a couple of, is everything okay? Yes, this is, I know it doesn't look it, but this is intentional. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I'm making an Ondawa by Michelle Wang as well at the moment. Um, because once you're wearing a Michelle Wang pattern, like I am, your oh, immediate so urge. What you're wearing right now is Michelle Wang, is it not? Yeah. So yeah, this is my stone cutter, which yeah. uh, I actually have on for once, which I don't super wear all the time. Um, it's just a nice, relaxed little cabled jumper. Just for any of you who have been considering making it, it's got this great little fit to it. Nice little faux incorporated peplum. And it's really fun. Honestly, this is a really fun knit. I think we had, including mine, three of them made for Outlaw October this year. Um, this is obviously in um, Rebel. Uh, the color is Justice. If any of you are interested, you know where to order it. We don't have to, like, we, uh, unlike some other people in the yarn industry, I don't think either of us have ever pretended we're not trying to sell you yarn. We are. I just, so, I want everyone. You know, and people say, oh, wait, she, what, what did they say about us? Are we quite commercial? It's like, mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think I'm just we're mentioning it on every podcast now, like Deb and I yeah. as well. Like we're just well, making we a point of pointing out that, like, <laughs> yes, hi. Uh, while we love all of you, genuinely, you make our lives so much better. We also are attempting to sell you yarn. Like just just remember, we if love it feels you like we're and we love your credit cards even more. Please remember that the more yarn you buy, the more yarn we can make. Like it's a beautiful relationship. It's a wonderful <laughs> thing. Um, but yeah, so I've got some Ondawa sleeves going on. Oh, now, that's Ondawa a, wow. Is, yeah, so Ondawa is a very weird little pattern. Um, it's quite boxy and square and it mm -hmm. is theoretically cropped. Now, as we all know, um, I have led a multi-year campaign against the crop top. Yeah. Um, I'm planning my own march about it uh, sometime in 2025 when I figure oh, everyone else oh. will probably, seriously. Like I really, I just need everyone else to get tired of them. Like there is a place, let's just, let's have a brief moment for sweater shapes. There is a place in some people's wardrobes. If you love a high waisted pant or a nice cinched waist skirt and you have the body and there's many different body types that suit mm -hmm. that particular aesthetic, amazing. Please, you know what? Go for it. Make a thousand and one crops to go with your gorgeous retro inspired dresses or high waisted Hepburn pants with giant pockets. We're here for it. We support you. However, when it looks like you've just stopped knitting because you've run out of yarn, please don't do that. Don't do that. No, 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 no bad crops. We're only here for the good crops. So while Ondawa is a good crop because it's got a great shape to it, it's really smartly constructed, has a wide boat neck, and it's meant for layering. We all know I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to lengthen the body. Um, and it's really, really easy to do that for me. Mm -hmm. um, and it's going to be a fun time. I'm really excited for it. Uh, the sleeves are great. So it's got this all over twisted stitch motif um, and a beautiful central cable. And this pattern repeats on the body multiple times. Mm -hmm. So what's nice is you get used to making this little cabled V intersection here. And then as you knit upwards, it just transitions beautifully as Michelle's work often does from an edge into a cable. And the best part about it is while it's a lot of twisted rib uh, mm -hmm. in true twisted rib, not like half twisted rib for all of you at home, that means you're knitting, you're purling through a back loop, mm -hmm. which I can already, I can feel you all screaming in mental anguish. Um, let it go. You're gonna be okay. Um, <clears throat> we all love to pearl through a back loop. Yeah, yeah, that angle is just, it's so good on your wrist, right? It doesn't feel weird at all. Um, the nice part about twisted rib is look at what it hides. Yeah. You could not tell for Adam if my tension is correct on this. There's no way. Why? Because twisted rib, which is just a magical thing. So there's little twisted micro cables here, and then there's twisted rib all over. Now, for those of you watching from home, which is probably most of you, because no one is live with us as far as I know, like we haven't got a studio audience yet. We'll get there, give us a couple of years. Um, <laughs> what we're gonna, what I'm gonna remind you all about is that if you don't want to do the one by one cabling, you can go out and give the one and only Nora Gone some of your money through a royalty check and purchase her twisted stitch uh, 
source book that has come out. So she has a cable source book and a twisted stitch source book. And in that, she will tell you all sorts of spooky ways to do all of this twisting without you having to actually twist the stitches or knit them through the back loops. Why? Because Nora is a well-known witch. She's the head of our coven. Um, and we're not ashamed. Like if there's one person to swear your allegiance to, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's the gone because she knows what's going on. Oh my God, I have no shame. Obviously I was born without a shame gland. Um, but yes, so I have two sleeves finished. They're both here, they're ready to go. So easy to display these things on camera. Like I hope all of you enjoy all of my random attempts. And you know that off. blue, blue on blue, who would have thought blue? The thing underneath is technically green. I just want to be clear about this to everyone oh, okay, at home. Right. Okay. Tomato, tomato, technically tomato. green. Deb is looking at me like it's not technically green at all. <sighs> Look, everyone, if you wanted to see colors other than blue, cream, or pink, you've come to the wrong man, all right? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Like, if you ever see me wandering down the street and I'm wearing an orange sweater, you know I'm suffering from some sort of, like, severe depression or something stop me and ask what's wrong because like <laughs> oh, that's a warning sign right there if i'm in like acid green like something's happened something's happened um and i have the body well underway so this is the front or back piece because yeah. they're the same piece now it has quite a wide boat neck now for all of you who are thinking out loud to yourselves oh my goodness wide boat neck that's not going to work for me I have great news for you about a boat neck. You just sew it smaller. Like, just, I just want everyone to know. Gosh, sure, you're full of the tips this morning, aren't you? Right? Hot take police right here. Um, if you don't want a boat neck as wide, just sew it smaller. And if you don't want that crop sweater cropped, go find a <laughs> Julie Hoover pattern. Um, I don't know. I'm full of something this morning. I'm caffeinated. This is what happens um, when we don't actually like literally he arrives and we go straight live. Um, yeah. this, is, this is what you get. I'm just all revved up. Well, I mean, this pattern is not that. Like, I just want to be clear. I have met so faded several times. I have actually followed the pattern hmm. roughly the first time and then less roughly the second time. Now, this is go around number three. So I've changed the yarn. I've changed the gauge. Um, hmm. I've completely changed the shaping. And I've gone back to the original intended yarn because my second one was in Ching Fiber, which is by Layla Ching. She's based in London and she makes really beautiful stuff. But like a lot of hand dyers who create beautiful yarns that when you look at them together, they should fade. For some reason, they just don't. And you end up looking like a striped ice block. And yeah. at the time, I thought to myself, wow, this is so beautiful. And then I cast on with the hedgehog fiber in a custom dyed potluck mm -hmm. fade and started knitting through it and went, oh. Um, mm -hmm. And while I still love my striped ice block pullover, it's much less of a fade and much more of a color block. Yeah. And that's all good. If we love a color block, let's go for it. Just don't do it to love note. Um, <laughs> here to help. Um, Cause there are ways to do love note and there are ways yeah. that we don't do love note. And we have talked about that ad nauseum. We had so it, yeah, we had. Yeah. So like, like if you need more love note feedback, please send your images to uh, yarn critiques at google.com. Don't, if that website, if that account exists, I'm sorry, I might've just caused a problem. Um, anyway, this is the result and I'm really loving it. Now I have also changed the bottom hem. Um, so, Obviously, most designers are going to recommend that you bind off in pattern, which is absolutely okay. Uh, just remember that you're going to want to go up a needle size or two if it's a bottom mm. hem, because we don't necessarily want this bottom hem uh, digging into our bodies, because including myself, many of us have portions at the lower spectrum of our torso that we don't want particularly tight. So what I did instead is I did my classic two by two tubular bind off and look at this. So it starts off like this. Once I block it, it goes wider than the camera angle is possible. It's gonna have a lovely drapey yeah. fit. And what's nice as well is that when you do this two by two tubular bind off, it produces weight at the bottom of your jumper because it is denser. So it'll actually mm. pull down on mm. the jumper to reinitiate that hang that we like so much. So, you know, those are kind of, that's that's what's going on with me at the moment. I think that all my other projects are at home. Um, 
the Selly cardigan is in a semi-permanent timeout because oh. it's just it's yeah, so it's, many it's intense it's isn't fiddly. it yeah 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 how, how far it's really gotten... fiddly you, you do... i have the whole top finished and yeah. i think i'm at the elbow of the first okay. sleeve of two yeah but um it's just it's a bit of a thing i've been kind of wondering if it might not have been easier to do the rosamine technique knit yeah. flat yeah on the sleeves and then seam them up the bottom oh but, i see yeah 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 but because you transition into the sleeve separation in the middle of a chart i don't yeah. know how well that would work Works. now yeah. it's a it's definitely one of those really cool new designs and ideas. And I'm using spin cycle as my contrast because I apparently had money to burn at some point. Um, and, uh, and Rebel Destiny Light as my main color. And that is working really beautifully. I have to say this far into it, I kind of wish I had done the whole thing in Bohemia Light. Mm -hmm. um, and that's just, but I mean, we live and we learn sometimes with yeah, patterns. Yeah, yeah. Oftentimes what I tend to do is I try to go off of the rough gauge or original yarn. So one of the samples was in it using tuku wool, which is a half drafted method. So it's yeah. kind of woolen spun. It's a strange yeah. little product. It is a strange, um, and, it, and it's quite um, really toothy. For those who haven't seen it, it is mm -hmm. pretty, it's, pretty. It's aggressive. Mm. Um, like below Lopi, but above Jameson's, yeah. it's been thrift. So if you're just thinking of like a toothiness gauge. Um, so I thought to myself that I could kind of meet it in the middle by using one woolen spun yarn and one worsted spun yarn because the worsted spun would actually pull much easier through because yeah. I saw some people were experiencing some breakage on the mm -hmm. tuku wool trying to pull it through to create those Rosamine floats. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that it just... I think a all natural worsted spun yarn would have worked much better. So, you know, Little Bandit, uh, Southlander Sport. Um, flight Light, probably. Flight Light, most likely. You could have yeah. done like a beautiful all natural shades one with yeah. those Flight Naturals that would yeah. have been a real okay. stunner. Like use one of the darker ones as the base and two lighter ones for the contract. Like there's a million and one ways to skin the cat. But as per usual, I cast on something when no one else was knitting it. Um, and the second sample was knit in Mondom. Now Mondom is another, like thinking about this now and I'm saying it out loud, she used some real weird yarn mm. um, because Mondom is a Portuguese wool. It's a sock yarn, it's 100% wool, but it is, it's just a, it's an odd little duck. Mm. Um, and she used the hand-dyed Mondom from our good friends at Libiana May. Um, so it, the colors I think were really what sucked me in if I'm being honest, everyone, cause I do love those tuku wool colors, mm -hmm. which have that rich, rich depth that you get out of the flex of mm -hmm. brown. So again, Southlander sport, little band of client, let's just keep hammering home that. Um, and of course, rebel destiny light, and you couldn't do better than Bohemia light really, but the other one, cause it was a all natural sock yarn, although it's a hundred percent wool and the twist on it isn't particularly mm. high because I have some Mondom. I, I don't know if I would use it for socks. It's a personal opinion. Mm. Um, but I think I think it was just it's not a wrong yarn choice. I just didn't make it yeah. as easy for myself as I could have. And how many times have you and I been down that road? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. I'm thinking back to some of our probably both of us have done like a Habu textiles experiment or like halfway oh. through you're like Oh, paper, this seemed like a good idea at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and that's the thing, because you'd see those things. That, I mean, I am I don't know how many times that you see things in editorial and you think, oh, wow. And in real life, it is, yeah, yeah, it's a bit like a dating app. You know, it looked really, really good on the screen. But then in real life, nah, yeah. No, we've all well, been there. I think we've been there. if I'm going to be honest with everyone, I think my biggest yarn mistake ever that I've made where I just like looking back, it's like, oh my God. I used to knit with a lot of um, Briggs and Little, which is practically a carpet yarn. Like it's beautiful, but it, it's it's carpet yarn. Mm. Um, and I made multiple projects in it and I don't wear any of them at all, like yeah. ever. Yeah. Because it's just, it's so heavy and harsh that it's just not viable, even for me. And I can practically wear a Brillo pad next to my skin because I wear 
lopy right next to my skin very comfortably. And so if I'm saying it's too scratchy, like buyer beware. Yeah. So I've, uh, so Shoji is still, I mean, is, is having a wee hibernate for me, but I have to say not because I didn't enjoy it. I just needed, is where the head was at for the time. But I'm quite looking forward to heading into, I always take, as you know, several weeks off across the summer period. And I, um, I'm i quite looking forward to being able to have quite a bit of knitting time then. And I, and I think Good. Shoji, yeah. And I mean, I mean I'm two thirds of the way through the, the big, oh, the big portion and i just know that um by the time i get to that it's going to be actually a doddle i know that when i pick it back up again i'll mm. probably roll through the rest of it quite quickly now look i'm actually we've um stitched in summer because it's like summer now not that we'd know here because it's raining and gray we're and here yeah um same weather today so, spooky but, oh. <gasps> don't these look all very like i think they all look quite new mexico don't look at those they, oh, they do look very New Mexico. I know. Oh my goodness. So these, this is the um, scale. I mean, we've all had too many tequilas in Santa Fe and wandered into the wrong adobo house that you thought was your Airbnb, right? Like, ooh. <laughs> Sorry, well, for any of you who gain. aren't familiar, it's a real this thing. This is our Skeins effect, John. We had it this time last year, actually. In fact, we did it for Stitch in Summer last year. <gasps> um, and can you see the little shine in there? Yeah. So What's what going on? Is that... So what that is, is a, um, so this is gorgeous and soft. Um, it's a trilobal um, polyester. And so if you're sort of looking at me going, okay, Marie, what's that? Uh, what no, that? no, no, no. Okay, so Ethan's going to know this. And I actually drew it for the girls when we had our staff meeting and did our training on this on Wednesday. And then I drew it. So most polyester yarns are just a single, very fine, smooth polyester or polyamide. And that's what we use like to wrap our whisper light and fine mm -hmm. and they're a single strand what a trilobal is is it's kind of like three little lobes and when i actually drew it it kind of looked like a little mini cock and balls yeah i was gonna say it's very inappropriate the image very inappropriate. Um, sorry but what it does the effect of that sorry not sorry the effect of that though and actually probably the pink i think the pink shows it really well too what it does is it means that it takes color slightly differently and you get this mm -hmm. little reflective shine and the other beautiful thing about that is sometimes when you get these little effect wrap yarns and some wrap yarns that you get they can actually be scratchy this is you don't feel it at all it's as smooth as anything no. and you get this really 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 pretty um just little shimmer through yeah. everything um 3.95 oh, no, oh my god you're giving five. it away yeah, everyday price five ninety five, which is still jolly good, but three ninety five today. So um, you know, jump on and grab those if yeah. you have the chance. If you're looking for it, it's under Yarns by Brand and Skeins Originals. That's where you'll find it. Yarns by Brand, Skeins Originals. Skeins Originals. Or if Ooh. in the search bar, just put in effect and it will come up. There if you, you guys are like hand dyed yarn OGs out there, um, you might remember a little brand called indigo dragonfly oh, who gosh, gosh, yes yeah who i have very mixed feelings about um kim mcbrian evans if you're watching you know that um we know each other personally just as a side note everyone but she has a tri lobal polyamide effect yarn called chameleon which is a sock weight base or fingering weight or four ply or whatever you want to call it um but the thing is on a in commercially dyed yarn where that other color is so smooth and beautiful, yeah. you actually get a much better effect of what that trilobal polyamide does. Yeah. And I think it just looks fantastic. Yeah, it, it just gives this really lovely little shimmer. Now, those who got the newsletter um, today, because I used a different template in the mail thing, is that I actually regurgitated my template um, from last year. And I forgot that in the hours at the bottom, because I've been changing, manually changing the shop hours uh, to our COVID hours. And of course, I had the old hours in there. So just to remind mm. everyone, you are local and you got that email, it is still the standard hours for today. Um, my bad, sorry. But the good news is you are open 24 hours online. Yeah, online. And you can yeah. always, locals Thanks. too, um, we do have local pickup. Well, local delivery is only three ninety five dollars um, within yeah. metropolitan Hawke's Bay. So it's nice and easy, isn't it? Mm. Uh, what Amazing. Are you, so let's, let's talk about Christmas because I know that you and I both have um, 
so the first thing that I have to say, and we talked about this, you and I, by ourselves the other day when we had a phone call, um, and we haven't spoken about this since we were on last month. I mean, wow, War Winders and Swifts, that was a thing, wasn't yeah. it, last month? Thank you. Oh, it's going to be a very happy Christmas for some people, <sighs> or pre-Christmas, because remember, treating yourself at any time of year is highly encouraged by Outlaw Yarn and Skeins. I know. You don't need an excuse, kids. I know. It was absolutely cray-cray. Um, so yeah, so mine are all gone. I think yours are all gone. But oh, um, so we have. I'm I'm actually gonna. I have a sneaky announcement. Yeah, go we on. We have two ball winders, two of the Ashford ball winders, and one Swift left. Oh my gosh! So, so there you go. If you missed out from us, you need to um get on. And you need to yeah. email me hq at outlawyarn.com because I have them hidden like a squirrel who had nuts and then forgot where he put them and then um found them later. But, you know, that's the story of my life, though. It's not my fault. Um, it is my fault. I'm the person in charge of this. And I... <laughs> it was a day that ended in Y. And sometimes days that end in Y are really hard. I think we can I all agree. A day that ended in Y. Because I've been having a lot of that lately. Um, mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Um, oh, yeah, so... The blue's not on the website. It is there, Janet. It's the one called New Mexico. But for some reason on the screen, it shows much, much darker than what it actually is. It is a really lovely, intense turquoise. Um, uh, oh, well, I'm very glad to hear you've got Swifts. We've sort of still got, I mean, the kits. Just one. We do still have... Swift, um, Swift Singular. Swift Singular, sorry. Uh, we do still have some of our Nipro kits. And we just this morning got in a huge order of um, needle felting kits uh, from oh. Ashford. Because they have been yes. such a um, great stocking stuffer. People are loving yeah. those for the kids. And particularly if you've got kids, if you're wanting to do gifts for, you've got kids at home and they're wanting to do gifts for their little friends or even like teacher gifts or things like that. And you don't want to spend a stupid amount of money, but you also don't want something nasty and too commercial and you want something that's handmade and really wonderful. And you see We love the those, Ashford kids. Those Ashford, aren't that? Ashfords do yeah. such a great job and I think sometimes people get they forget because they've been around so long you, you take them for granted a little bit and you actually I guess I never did because they were always such a great little specialty thing when I had the shop when I was working at the shop in North America you know um we we always were so excited when new Ashford stuff came in and here I I see what you mean there is sometimes a little bit of it oh Ashford the mm. other thing that we do have is we still have one Ashford complete weaving kit. Now they only put these out um, once a year if you're lucky. And so it's a 40 centimeter. I'm just looking over at Deb to see if I can get confirmation. Yeah. Is it a 40, it's a 40 centimeter sample at loom. It's a sample at loom no matter what, you get a loom. You get the stuff to finish it, you get a carry bag, you get extra reeds um, and you get a, a skein of a alpaca boucle yarn that I I think I might have seen going through a mill that I know. Um, oh, is this the one that comes a little with a little carry bag like this? Yes. Ah, now I actually own one of those. I've, in fact, it's here. Yeah. Is it in here? It was in here for a while. Um, that is a fantastic. It's brilliant. That I need. You know, with all the extra time that I have, you, I just need to to do. I think. Um, well, you know what you could do, Marie. I have a suggestion. Ready? You could um, get out your spinning wheel and some fiber then you could spin some yarn and then get out your loom and then you could weave some fabric then you could block your fabric and then cut it out and sew yourself a great new fabric tote bag for your loom and then you'll be all set to go and then you can get your little trinkle loom out and weave yourself a nice like webbing strap for it as well and boom all right, see wow, like of course, of course. too yeah. easy right like i just i solved everyone i've solved all of your problems as per okay. usual thank you for coming um <laughs> I know, I know, and I look, it's funny because I've got one of my wheels here at the minute, um, and the other ones, and my ash, actually, my ash for treddies at home, and I do, I, yeah. I don't I, think I've spun anything in like four years. Oh, no, I've, I've been about, I did a little bit earlier in the year, but I haven't, um, I need to, because I've got some, I was digging around with something else at home, and I found some, fent um, I've got the most fabulous, I love Lynn Walsh's Fibre from Fibre to Go. So mm, I've got to go. several braids from Lynn that I adore, and there was one that I had from Lynn, and I looked at that and I thought, oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Another See, big reminder. 
to everybody who's watching, don't forget we are both Ashford dealers, which means yes. if you yeah. need something from Ashford, just let us know, contact either of us by email and we can get that sorted for you because there's nothing we love more than waiting. In it's like, it's hilariously fun to like wiggle through the massive um, Ashford catalog and figure out that exact thing that you guys are trying to find. And yeah. uh, it, it's strangely thrilling. Um, but yes, uh, Christmas, 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 what else? We have a couple of really cool things from Clover going up on our website as we speak. Did I see you also got the Labby in a May book in? Are you getting in? So it's, it's, it's been, um, been and gone. Um, this is, Sorry. this is my copy. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, yes. Uh, so it turns out that I, I have surprising news for everyone watching. People love yarn. And people love books about yarn. Just, you heard it here first. We're announcing it. It's official. It's a happening thing. Yeah. Books are back. They never left. I mean, but um, so Amy Gillet, um, the incredible creator of the Le Bien Yarn Cafe, which started off as Louise Vite in Paris and then grew into this whole global sensation, mm -hmm. obviously. By the way, she loves yellow. Surprise. Um, she reached out to a collection of designers and offered her some of her new wool and which is called Cory Worsted and then they made up all of these beautiful patterns. Um, there is some really gorgeous photography in here. There's also some classic Lina um, editorial decisions of uh, sticking the label directly in the middle of the pattern and the model's face. Um, a personal favorite. I have it bookmarked just for this moment. Um, it, Cindy and Yana, if you're watching, I'm sorry that I'm like this, but they have my email address so they can complain yeah. to me directly. Um, I did work on this book, just full disclosure before anyone wants to know, but we do not have any more copies of it. We've been kind of in discussion about whether or not to get more. And we just, I think that we're, I think we've Obviously, decided possibly. If people, do, they can email you for an expression of interest. And you can see whether it's yeah, we don't know if there's actually any more. There have been a lot yeah. of printing issues with our poor friends at Lina because they use a, uh, a local print house in Latvia, which is local to them, just for the record, everyone. It's just across the um, Order. ocean. We'll see, whatever. Yeah, they're, look, it, it gets modeled in the Nordic region. Let's all be honest with ourselves. Baltic like, our Schmalt. geography. Yeah, Baltic Schmalt. Yeah, right? Like, they're there. Um, yeah. The book is beautiful. There's a lot of incredible patterns. Um, some personal favorite, uh, Ethan and Marie designers have popped up in here. Uh, Stephen West has a shawl in here. Just to be blunt, there is a mistake in the Stephen West pattern. It is my fault. I edited it. Um, and I just, I'm announcing this to everyone who will listen. Cause I feel like I'm like a Catholic trying to like, you know, expiate his guilt, like mea culpa, sorry everybody. Um, there's also a Nora Gone pattern in here called Perennial. And the best part about this being a collaboration mm -hmm. between um, Amy and Lina is that the models are actual two different human sizes. So for those of us who are elegant telegraph poles like yours truly, there's an elegant telegraph pole model. For those of us who are voluptuous and full figured, there's a voluptuous, beautiful, full figured model in here, which means you can see what the patterns look like on a body that will more closely resemble yours. Yeah. And I think that that is awesome. So a huge kudos to them for sticking to their guns, which they've been doing so regularly. Um, Lina number 13 is on order. I do not know if it's shipped quite yet. I'm doing this thing where I'm trying to make yeah, no, contact with Deb. People don't know, Deb's off camera I, that way. Um, I think they've just received it. I don't know if it's uh, shipped. They've just received Lina 13, I which... Think. I am personally very excited about it because it's an entirely gender neutral collection of patterns. Um, and I definitely had nothing to do with it. Um, uh, so I'm very, very excited for this one as well. Uh, the great Are you thing about this getting book... Yarnology from Australia? No. Oh, we are. I think you guys are getting Yarnology. Yeah, I think yeah we so are. We, sometimes we, we divide and conquer team at home. Um, we do. We, we, I thought we'd give this a go. You know, I mean, it was... Um, yeah. So I paid for the freight, and apparently we're in the, on the website because we've already had people oh. inquiring. Uh, and I think in Australia, I think it's $24. I have to check, but we'll probably be priced closer to 29 only because of the freight cost 
um, to get it out and such. But yeah, uh, yeah. So I'm kind of I was actually kind of hoping it'll be here today. Um, I've seen the front cover; it looks beautiful, um, and it'll be great to have a uh, an you know a local book. I mean, yeah. we've obviously Tiny Studio, the fabulous Tiny Studio, um, done with uh, Susie Brown. Um, but it's, oh, I didn't know it was Susie in the Tiny Studio. That's exciting. Yeah. Yeah, and it will be so good to um, yeah to get Yarnology. So we're we're really looking forward to that. So that should hopefully be. And I think we've ordered a pretty reasonable number of copies. Um, I so think the other thing that I have been trying to get, but they seem to be having similar printing issues for all of you crocheters, is Moret Magazine, the no new mm. crochet only fibercraft magazine now i have spoken to them several times it's just a difficulty we're the only stockist in oceania trying to um summon their books here yeah. so they're just they're a little like um and oh which leads me to my next fun thing so you might have noticed for anybody who watched us on saturday morning deb and i or was it tuesday it was tuesday morning the days all blur together um deb has been crocheting um and was we're it the blanket the corner blanket no, no, it's an oh. even, it's a new, fun, beautiful thing because Deb has been crocheting in pulse. And Ooh, how's it looking? So, okay, just to fill everybody in, fabulous. Amazing. So, to fill everybody in that don't, that don't know, we obviously we mm. have our pulse and balls like this, mm -hmm. but Ethan my... did, we did specifically exclusively about your yarn. <laughs> 100 gram skeins of pulse. I must have put it um, downstairs. It's okay. It's, yeah. it's, it's gorgeous in the 100 gram skeins. It's so cool because you can see all the big, long, slow color repeats. Exactly. And because it's continuous for a full 100 grams, you don't have to worry about that repeat that can occasionally, not often, but occasionally occur with the 50 gram ball. Yeah. Um, it looks so cool crocheted because Deb is also doing this really neat it looks like an embossed granny square. So there's these small yeah. little squares that then all get attached together. And she's going to attach it all together using Curiosity, mm -hmm. which is our Bandit DK yeah. uh, natural shade. Yeah. Um, but there's this like almost like chromatic effect of, because you can follow the one spiral around the shape of the crocheting so differently than in knitting. Yeah. And so it almost looks it looks much more dimensional than crocheting with just one color. The oh, pulse crocheting, like we thought the pulse would be cool knitted. Um, yeah. And we've got a great sample downstairs. We yeah. did a Skyping beanie, which is a free pattern on Ravelry for anybody who doesn't know. Um, it's been around for a long time. It's an Ethan go-to classic if I need mm -hmm. to make a gift really quickly, which I don't do. So I mean, I used to, but not anymore. Um, so we highly rate the uh, pulse for making up, especially coming into Christmas. If you've got picky people in your life, there is literally this time around with the eight shades that we've got a pulse color for everyone. I believe what, that Deb what, is taken with what clutter. We did, just in case you're wondering why would we have done 100 gram scans for them? And yeah, okay. there is a reason, there is a method to this madness. And we did it because a lot of the color work examples and patterns that were available used 100 grams of a certain yeah. uh, hand spun yarn that you know you have to sell a kidney. That shall from. remain nameless. Um, they shall remain nameless and uh this actually replaces it so it means that it actually gives you an option to get that look without literally putting yourself on the transplant list so, so i've been thinking about doing a wild thing uh because my one true guiding light in the knitting industry did it mm -hmm. and so nora gone has knit one caitlin hunter pattern um, and I kind of reckon if Nora's done it, that there's a reason behind this. Now, for those of you who don't know, our friend Helene has knit a couple of Caitlin Hunter patterns, really beautiful in her oh. yarns from Happy Go Knitty. Yeah. Um, and both Marie and I have looked at one particular sample, uh, whose name escapes both of us because, eh. um, but there's baubles involved and that's just, no. I think, was it um, No. Tigna? No, it's the uh, it's the other one. I think she has a tanga, but it's that one that has like the feathers on it. I want to say it's like Koivuva, Ko Kovua. Yeah, yeah. Ko yeah, I think it could be Kovua. Koivua? Who knows? Like, Caitlin beautiful. picks beautiful names that have a deep resonance for her about her childhood and now her life in Alaska. So she's not doing anything strange. It makes perfect sense the way she names her patterns. Um, however, 
I dislike butchering pronunciation, so I, I try to avoid, but she has a pattern called Guthrie that is all over color work. And it's originally done in the yarn that shall not be named in a kind of like rusty brown background color from mm -hmm. Farmer's Daughter's Fibers, which is just not my thing. But I was thinking, I was thinking what might be really, really cool is Intrepid mm -hmm. in Bandit DK as a main color and Adagio as the contrast color mm -hmm. to do all of the color work. Yeah. Um, the nice part about like this batch of pulse has so much great contrast. You could use it with pretty much any color and you're going to see it. Yeah. And we now know how the color repeats work out, but we are super pro crocheting it. Not tried crocheting mm. with Paul's. Actually, yes. I might talk to um, Heather about that here because Heather is our resident hooker mm -hmm. on staff, and she um, and I don't think she's actually crocheted it because she's been she knitted um, synchronicity, the synchronicity. Okay, yeah. Using tempo and uh, Southlander cream, and it looked showstopper. It looked amazing. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah, but crochet is her actual first love. So I might get her to do something in crochet. Um, Anna Blesser in the comments, did you see that? Maybe we need a New Zealand designer's book with skeins and out all yarn. Yeah, we'll fit that in. You've got all that spare time. Deb, Deb. Yeah, Deb. Well, yeah, Deb, we're, we're being Deb. asked. We're, people think that we should do a uh, New Zealand designer book and or make, because Deb's never done this before. So no, she because we've know how never done that before at all. Um, a New Zealand designer book with all outlaw and skeins yarn. You've got time for that, right? We can fit that into yeah, your schedule. Yeah. She's, she's looking at me like she's going to hurl her computer at me, just for the record. Um, like she knows I'm joking, but she's still contemplating my death. Um, <laughs> It's okay, guys, um, she can't no, tell me. Again, <laughs> I'm not insured yet. <laughs> in a few years, have I got one sitting here? Have I got one? Hold on, I might have one. Oh, uh, sorry. Have I got a copy? Oh, here we go. Uh, hold on, hold the phone. Hold the phone. I think I know what I'm out. Yeah, I do. This is this is the reason. Um, Yay! This is the reason why uh, we get a bit of a giggle. Look at that! Stitch Seekers is live on air right now. We're, we're showing off an old Stitch Seekers. Oh, she's, she's got an even more murderous glint now. I, I, I didn't do it. Marie did it. Don't. There's some great stuff in here. What are you talking there about? There is great stuff in there. I know. Gosh, if there's one person, like, the thing that you pay for when it comes to something like Lina or when it comes to especially coming into Outlaw Yarn and with you guys is you're paying for someone's singular taste, right? Yeah. And vintage yeah and what i have to say is no one has taste in color like deb so if you're not aware of what you're paying for when you come to outlaw yarn that is what you're paying for because i should i cannot be trusted to put a yarn line together both marie and deb have sat there while we've looked at yarn line colors and i think i've picked four grays and two blues before and been like this this is a sensible palette it's it's not everyone um a it doesn't look very good all together b it just doesn't. See, ooh, I forgot ooh. there's a fabulous um, lace shawl in there. Oh, there is a fabulous lace shawl in it's there. Really good. It's it's been because this is about this would e issue two. Deb, ask who when was two fourteen? I think it was fourteen. It was a while ago. Was issue two? Do you think it was back in twenty fourteen? Uh. See, this is kind of um, so. It's got to be before. Is it pre Neve? No, it's not pre Neve. Uh, so it's got to be, yeah, it's probably would have been about 2014. About 2014. Yeah, think, yeah. We, so we, by the way, are going to be getting ready. I'm going to start filming tomorrow the new yep. content for Outlaw Online. Um, yeah, which is going to be really, really exciting. And so we've spent a little while trying to come up with a great thing for the first join up members as a live event mm -hmm. of what we're going to do. And I, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell people what's going, what the plan is, but <laughs> um, so we, we kind of like went back and forth because we, we are lucky to be live with you guys mm -hmm. on a regular basis, both here on this channel on our own channel. Mm -hmm. And so we were trying to figure out what we could do that was super, super special. So it turns out that 
there was a lot about outlaw yarns that I didn't necessarily know because I'm a relatively, I might, it might feel like I've been here forever for different reasons for different people. Um, but I actually, like, I'm a relatively recent import. As a matter of fact, uh, December the 5th, uh, this Sunday, is my three year anniversary of moving to New Zealand, which is really exciting. Um, and the most fun part about this is what we are going to be doing is we are going to be telling the untold, already told history of Outlaw Yard and Ethan. Um, so that is going to be the live event. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm going ask, to try to... Ask her, is, she, is it going to involve a story in a hotel room in Dunedin? Um, I, th I think there will be mention of it. Um, right. So okay. all, all right, of you good. get yourselves buckled up um and ready to go because it's gonna be a yarn party um but yeah so the other great thing so like christmas is coming remember to treat yourself first yes definitely. with all of this talk about crochet we did a big deep dive and by we i mean deb sacrificed her wrist and fingers to trying out a bunch of different crochet hooks and luckily deb has used a bunch of different crochet hooks over the years so we had some good data now one of the things is Deb has discussed with me before and with all of you at home, and I'm using her name a lot here because I I can crochet, I should be honest. I always say I can't crochet, but it's, it's not true. I can't, crochet. I just don't like it. I never know where I'm sticking the thing, like which hole do you mean? Why is everything called a loop? How do I count these stitches? I don't know what's going on. What's a double crochet? What's a treble? Why can't we just agree to one set of terms? Why are all the charts so different? Um, I have many questions and no answers. Um, Sounds like your but, dating life, darling. Oh, right, yoikes. That's a whole other episode. Um, and that's gonna require us both with a bottle of wine present. If you guys wanna see that, Marie and I could start a different podcast. Yeah, just about yeah we'll, the nightmare. we'll have a subscription service for that, yeah. Yeah, just about the nightmare that is my dating life, yoikes. Um, anyway, uh, the good and bad of this is Deb tried out a bunch of different hooks. So we got a bunch of different hooks in stock and Deb had a good old play around with them. Now, we, Deb historically has liked the Leica hooks. Um, and we do have some crochet sets online from Leica, which has a full range of sizes because they're long enough that they slap across the palm instead of poking you in the middle of the palm. Mm -hmm. And when I hear poking you in the middle of the palm, that does not sound like it would be mm -hmm. comfortable. Now we have also gone on and ordered all of the sizes of Zing hooks. Mm -hmm. So we've got them all. And I believe that our poor precious Helen is downstairs working at a breakneck speed with her little fingers, putting all of this stuff up on the website for all of you at home. Um, we also have uh, the symphony hooks, and we even got some Addy swings, which are my preferred crochet hook, because um, I quite like them. And we got them in all the sizes that we could, but I mean, mm. the things are what they are, and you all know this. Uh, and the last but not least is we got a set of the armor, uh, two sets of the uh, clover armor crochet hooks mm -hmm. in the teeny, teeny, tiny little sizes for doing all of that amigurumi crocheting, and for all of those people who love to bead and for anybody who has a fanatical desire to make Catholic lace, because um, that's a thing, like we've discussed mm -hmm. it, but crocheting is a Catholic thing for making lace for all of the mm -hmm. decorations and details. That's why if you're ever sitting around wondering and you're ever in a basilica and you're like, wow, that tablecloth is so fantastic up front. Yeah. Um, some poor woman at some point many years ago sat and yeah. crocheted that entire thing Cheryl Ferry, Cheryl Ferry did a wonderful class at Cannes a couple of years ago um, on Irish crochet, which was that Catholic. Yeah, it was beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, it's intense. I like, ooh, like if I could crochet that, maybe I would be into crocheting. Yeah. But like, how? I just I, I don't understand how those women years ago, before we had like halogen lighting, pulled yeah. that off. Yeah, um, well, got, I'm well, actually because so they're sitting right here for me. So I might as well grab them and show them to you. Just rustle, rustle, rustle of cellophane. We have just got a couple of symphony sets. Yep. Yep. So good. And uh, the, I, I have to admit, I'm a waves girl. I like I like my waves. Um, yeah. I love those that nice um, silicone handle. It's it's yeah, really comfortable. Because there is there's nothing worse 
the um, having that jabbing into your palm is hideous. Anyway, I think we've done and does. I again apologize yeah, if I know because I just saw a few of our um, YouTube regulars have jumped over to Facebook um, later, and I'm really sorry about that. But I will make sure that. I get this up onto YouTube uh, for today. So do remember, Stitch in Summer is today. So it's every Thursday, every Tuesday and every Thursday through December and January, one day only specials. Um, one day only specials. I know. And uh, and they there are some really great stuff. So today is obviously the launch with tri Trilobal. We've only got a certain amount. It's only come back for this. So snap it up today, $3.95, or it will go out at regular price. It's $5.95, what's left um i can't remember what i've got on for the oh yes i do yes i do should i tell you should i tell you what's on for tuesday no oh, wait if you monday. don't oh, okay i'll wait till monday i'll wait till monday. i'll give you a hint you. Come, back, come, come back and see us on monday and i will let you know what is um, going to be on for tuesday which is a cracker believe me it's another real goodie um and we've got some, yeah, some really great stuff going up between now and the end of the year. And if you still haven't managed to get your Christmas shopping um, all done and dusted, we've got stuff for that as well. Uh, but yeah. thank you very much, Ethan. Thank you to everyone for joining oh, Thanks today. for coming, friends. I know. And, um, oh, this is our, do you think we should, I think we might need to do a Christmas special just before Christmas. What do you think? Oh, absolutely. We can do a Christmas special. That can I be, that can be magic. I think Christmas week maybe special just for us. Let's do it. Yeah. We might need to bring champagne. There's an idea. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I've actually I've got a good bottle sitting at home. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right. We'll yeah. let you know the date for that. Okay. Thank you, everybody. And I will talk to you again on a Monday. See you then. Bye. Bye. Here we go. Yes, I know I can't sign on because... <sighs>